everybody, it's Laurel Live, and today we're getting closer to Thanksgiving, and I wanted to just talk briefly about um, body image and eating, and eating, um, not just eating healthy, but actually eating, um, and not binging or purging or starving ourselves or anything like that. So today's show is really um, to encourage you if you've uh, struggled with um, eating disorders or yo-yo dieting or anything like that. I just want to encourage you and pray for you over this holiday season that you don't go too far in any extreme, like not eat and starve yourself and get unhealthy that way or binge and overeat or binge and purge or um, just going back from extreme to extreme, sort of ping-ponging back and forth between um, what your body really needs and, and sort of starving it out, trying to either control your life or deal with stress or, you know, just whatever the cause is, whatever the reason is for doing it. I just want to encourage you that God loves you and you're priceless. Your value doesn't change. His love for you doesn't change. And our uh, the way we see ourselves can change when we take our eyes off God or when we are going through things sometimes. Our bodies are going to change all throughout our life, uh, from when we're young to when we're having children. Sometimes when we get older, our body just goes through all these different changes. It can change from moment to moment, day to day. But the thing that doesn't change is God's love for you. And you have to know how much He loves you. And you are so important to him that he wants you to take care of yourself and he wants you to eat and he wants you to eat with a, in a balanced, healthy way. And he doesn't want you to feel like you can't conquer these things. So if you're struggling with yo-yo dieting or body image issues or um, eating disorders, a lot of these things are kind of connected. And um, it starts at a young age. A lot of times, girls as young as six start having body image issues and start seeing themselves in a negative type of light. And it's really not so much just about what we look like, but what we're called to do, what we're purposed to do in our lives, and focusing on who we are in God, how much He loves us, how valuable we are, how important we are, how much He cares for us, and how much kindness God wants to show us and does show us every day. Those are the things that we focus our mind on, the things that are above, not just what we look like. Yeah, what we look like is great if, you know, if it's great, but if it's not, we don't want to be down in the dumps because we don't look great either. And I've been there. I was swollen and puffy and fat when I lived down in Florida, and there's no other way to put it. I was just in a swollen, puffy, fat stage in my life, and I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I thought, Ugh, how is God going to use me? I'm having migraines every day. I can barely eat a normal diet. I'm just swollen and in severe pain. It just didn't look like great at all. I didn't look great. I didn't feel pretty. I, I didn't, you know, I started forgetting who I was in God. I started having, you know, low value on my life and myself because I wasn't able to do as much. Again, I was, you know, thinking if I couldn't work or do something or I was going through a hard time that somehow my value in God must have been lowered and my body image followed right along down that path. And, and God had my daughter and my husband telling me almost every day, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Mom, you're beautiful. Honey, you're beautiful. But you know what? When they said it, it was painful. It was painful when I heard it because I felt ugly. When I looked in the mirror, that was not pretty looking. And I just want to encourage you and let you know that I've been there and eating disorders were not necessarily a struggle of mine. I'm a carb loader by nature. And it turns out that I need more carbs than most to survive. But um, genetically um, speaking from like a DNA standpoint, um, but I'm still working on finding that balance and um, eating what my body needs. And I just want to encourage you that I have been through not eating disorders, but I haven't had the opportunity to skip out a lot or to binge and purge or doing these things. Because if I had, I probably wouldn't be alive. So my body just doesn't tolerate all that. It needs st stability and stable uh, temperatures and meals and proteins and the right kind of carbs and everything going in constantly to keep me um, moving and functioning. So our bodies shut down when we don't take care of them, when we don't 
um, get the right amount of food and the right types of foods. And sometimes it's not our fault. There's nothing we can do about it when we're going through a hard time. But I want to encourage you to do your best. And if you're struggling with this, I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to pray that over the holiday season that God helps you with eating. Any anxiety, fear, uh, darkness surrounding food, um, or just in any way that you feel like food's your answer or controlling what you eat or don't eat, um, not in a healthy way, but in an unbalanced way. Um, I just want to pray for you. So God, I just pray for everyone listening, everyone watching this video right now. And I pray for every woman and every man and every guy who may be listening. And I just pray that in Jesus' name, if they're struggling from yo-yo dieting or uh, anxiety around food or eating out in public or being seen eating or dealing with any type of food issue, eating disorder, uh, being uh, anorexic or bulimic or binging and purging and just all these different cycles and all these different things, God. I just pray in Jesus' name that you begin to set them free right now from all of this bondage and all this slavery to food, to not eating, to eating too much, and just from ping-ponging back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, God. And I just pray that you would bring wholeness and balance in this area of their lives in Jesus' name. And I just pray that you would give them strength to eat what their body needs, to eat what their body needs, not just to count calories and not just to look at the fat grams and, oh my God, I ate uh, junk earlier today, so now I can't eat the rest of the day. You know, I, I did this, God, over here, so now, uh, you know, I don't have enough calories left in the day, you know? What does your body need? God, I just pray that you would show them what their body needs, that they would hear, that they would see, that they would feel what their body needs, and that they would be able to eat accordingly, that they would be able to eat what they actually need, God, that they would have their bodies built up and be strong and healthy for you. And God, I just thank you and I praise you for this in Jesus' name. So I didn't cover everything on this video, right? I mean, there's just so many different aspects of uh, body image issues and eating disorders and stuff. But like I said, it starts at a young age a lot of times. And it can just be that one day you walk by the mirror and say, Ugh, oh God, that's scary. Um, and sometimes it's good for us to walk by the mirror when we're getting unhealthy and out of shape and, and overweight um, and we need to make changes and it's good for us to see that. But sometimes we make changes and we go too far and we can become unhealthy in another way. And when we don't eat right, we don't eat enough, our body has to find the fuel to run our, our heart and our brain and our other organs and our muscles and our body will start eating itself. You know, it'll start breaking down muscle and other things. Um, and you'll start having real serious medical problems if you don't um, fuel your body uh, properly. So you may not feel it the first day or the second day if you don't eat, eat right, but you will feel it. And for me, I have it shut down pretty quickly if I'm not able to get in what my body needs. So it's pretty serious. Um, so it's it's a little different for me. I've been strong on this my whole life. I was even accused of being anorexic when I was younger because I was thin, but I was very athletic. And I didn't have hardly any fat ever till I was laying around for years for medical things. So I've been thin and I've been fat and puffy and I'm a mom and I have my whole body is sort of been out of whack for years and it's it's not all sitting where it used to sit, okay? I won't go into any other details. But you know what? I have a beautiful daughter. And what I look like, if I'm puffy um, when I'm shooting videos or if I'm not puffy that day, I am really getting really comfortable with just wherever I'm at, just still being used by God. And that's more important, being a light and being able to be used by, by God and being happy and free on the inside is so much more important than what we look like. Looking great is 